Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to pull a still frame off of a video file that you captured with your Sony A9 or A92 camera body. So maybe you were out in the field and you did a video of something that was fast moving like a hummingbird or a duck taking off from a lake and you say, man, I'd love to have a still of that part of the movie. So I'm going to explain how to do that. There are a couple things to remember though that before you go pulling your stills from your movie files. You're not going to get a 24 megapixel file. You're going to get 8.3 megapixels if you shoot your video in 4K and if you shoot in full HD you're only going to get a 2.1 megapixel file. But that's okay. You can still use those images on the web or for a slideshow or something like that. So come with me now. We're going to show you how to get that still image off your video file. The first step I'm going to have you do for pulling a still frame from a movie file with the Sony A9 II is to access your menus, go into chapter number two, you navigate those by spinning your front dial, and then once you're in chapter two, page over to page number nine, you can see I've got page nine here and here, and then come down to custom key, and then select that, and then toggle over to page number two. And these are two custom function buttons that you can set up and I suggest you make number two, custom button number two, which is on the top of the camera, to select the playback media. And then once you do that, you toggle over to chapter number four using your front dial. And in chapter number four, you go over to page number two and you can see there, photo capture. Now it's grayed out right now because I'm reviewing still images and not reviewing movies. So I have my camera set up to do still images to card number one and movies to card number two. So I'm going to get out of the menu system. I'm going to go into my review and there's an image, but I want to review my movie. So this image is on card one. So that's why I had you set up that custom button. You can very easily change which card you're reading to by pressing your custom button number two up on the top of the camera, come down here, select slot two, and then choose a movie where you want to pick your still from. So I had this example here, and I thought that would be interesting. So this is the movie where I want to pick my still. So then, I go into the menu system now while I'm reviewing this movie, and you see Photo Capture has come now to where I can do and choose it. So I choose that, and then I can spin the front dial to go a little bit slowly through the movie you can see it's going by seconds. So this was the ninth second, 10 seconds of that movie. Let's say that this 11th second was the one that you wanted. This is the still frame that you wanted to capture from that movie. So then you can see a little navigation screen here. And if you press down on your main control wheel, you will capture that movie. I'm sorry, you will capture that still out of that movie. It says processing and then you go back to reviewing your images and you can see that here's the still frame that I captured from that video. It's a very convenient way to capture stills from videos. Okay, so you can see that the process is not that difficult to get your still images from your video files. It opens up all kinds of doors for you when you're out in nature and you see something that's fast action. You capture it first with video and then you can pull those still frames from that video file. And uh, I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos and I hope to see you again soon.